all right guys so moving some uh, trips around uh, fragging some up uh, uh, packages and I think we are in a pretty commanding position well pretty good position we have a bunch of uh, Egyptian sections retreating to uh, the west which I like uh, a lot and there are some uh, uh, I don't know uh, some glitches over here it's not a glitch actually but uh, I guess I'm gonna talk about it uh, and uh, uh, in just a short while so basically that's what I'm doing at this uh, point just uh, flagging some uh, uh, flights around there and uh, manipulating up uh, I'm using I'm uh, taking control of two squadrons the uh, 253rd uh, guys you can see uh, this is their uh, map over here uh, uh, so uh, those guys are by um, uh, black 52 plus and if, uh, I'm controlling also the 94th um, uh, squadron which is the carrier base squadron and they're flying uh, Charlie uh, Hornets over here are uh, there uh, their, uh, uh launch from that uh, 73rd uh, carrier present in task uh, force mm -hmm. uh, of course guys I just noticed over here we, had, we have uh, two uh, but a patrol bo boat uh, task forces uh, but those are our Syrian uh, boats and we also uh, where I have uh, one uh, cruiser task force just to keep those guys in check um, uh, so of course I know Syrians are not playing any hostilities uh, uh, there anytime soon uh, over here uh, against Israel uh, but of course it's uh, uh, good to actually keep an eye on all of your flanks now uh, uh, this is what I'm doing guys and I'm uh, actually those words uh, have uh, quite a lot of uh, you know fight time until they go feet uh, dry actually uh, over here I think they could station a little bit closer but I can understand their concern uh, because they don't want to be too close uh, to uh, shore currently they're 130 miles uh, offshore uh, and those hornets are really amazing amazing jets and they're going to be able to cover that distance uh, and uh, even more so uh, their targets are all over here on the uh, coast uh, line of course guys I just noticed there uh, as uh, Intel actually uh, clarifies things uh, along the map here uh, that we uh, have uh, I think those are uh, uh, guard uh, National Guard or something like that. Uh, see, they are guarding Esmelia over here. Very, very heavy. They've set up uh, those uh, perimeters. And of course, we have some reserve units uh, of the Egyptians over here, uh, and they're ready uh, to pretty, pretty rapidly uh, deploy towards these. They're using uh, these uh, crossing points. Uh, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five crossing uh, points that the Egyptians are using uh, to uh, move uh, troops. I think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I think maybe uh, some of uh, fight should be uh, tasked over there with uh, uh, striking uh, those uh, bridges over there, which is a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good idea. Uh, of course, uh, it's gonna uh, assist us in uh, <coughs> uh, in uh, actually uh, gaining us uh, some ground toward the west. Now, this campaign turns out, guys, to be very, very uh, difficult uh, because. Uh, uh, the Egyptian army, uh, I think, is uh, uh, a fair bit larger than the Israeli army over here in this uh, campaign, BMS. Uh, uh, and those guys, um, I, I have to remind you guys, uh, though the, the Egyptians are using uh, Western equipment, so they're using uh, M1 MBTs. Uh, they're using, uh, I think, they're using the, the M109, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, self prepared to all round, all round uh, Western equipment. There we go, 109 Paladins. I think uh, they're using Stingers as a man pass, very potent. They're using the M113s, uh, personnel carriers, they're using tolls, uh, all round uh, equipment. Uh, American, I, I would say, predominantly American equipment. Pretty much uh, what you can see in uh, guys in Korea or in any other theater. I think in Korea, uh, it's, um, uh, it's uh, uh, most evident there. Uh, the Americans are using. Uh, of course, uh, uh, whatever the blues are using there, uh, the same equipment is used here, uh, but uh, uh, here it's used by, by the red side, by the Egyptians. Uh, so very, very resilient guys, uh, 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 troops, uh, those Egyptians, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tough actually. Uh, this uh, c campaign as you can see we have one uh, cluster over here in this uh, coastline those guys just crossed uh, the bridge is heading east uh, in uh, our plan uh, actually guys I probably uh, should have told you earlier over here but that's okay uh, we may should take uh, our uh, over here this is uh, the main uh, main port uh, of uh, uh, 
of the Egyptian uh, side, one of the main ports and one of the main uh, objectives, which means, of course, we've taken over here these facilities, which means, guys, that we could uh, actually shift the whole front line west, which is uh, something I like very, very much. Uh, now, the Egyptians are, are, um, are very, very smart. I'm very, very, uh, very pleased and uh, very impressed with the way AI, uh, the Red AI, is uh, planning uh, stuff over here. Uh, and, uh, it's uh, tactical uh, actions, uh, very, very smart moves uh, they make. Uh, uh, for example, they, uh, they are kind of slipping uh, on the air, airspace. I think we uh, gained. Uh, uh, we uh, uh, we uh, we gained uh, the upper hand, I think, uh, over here, uh, um, over this um, uh, eastern and uh, northeastern uh, Egypt airspace. Uh, uh, so <clears throat> we're able to operate much more freely uh, with our aircraft, um, and the Egyptians know that, and uh, they're trying to. Uh, they're trying to uh, uh, even things out uh, by using uh, SAM uh, systems. And the SAM systems they use, guys, of course, you saw they, uh, they're they not afraid to use their Patriot SAM. Uh, but, of course, uh, they are uh, also using uh, a bunch of SA-17s. Those guys are very, very nasty. Those are a huge threat. Uh, and I think uh, we had actually a bunch of a uh, bunch of jets shot down by uh, by this S17 SA17 threat, uh, very very high threat guys. I think uh, they were over here. They were actually a lot uh, closer. Uh, those are I think those are the uh, uh, 516. Those are the SA17s. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe they are embedded in uh, into some uh, battalion or, or in some division. I'm not sure guys. Uh, but really. Uh, that's not them, but anyway, uh, they were over here and they're kind of retreating towards the west because uh, they lack, uh, I think, uh, they're embedded in, into some uh, uh, division, uh, as I said, or some uh, uh, battalion, uh, and they're moving along with uh, that uh, battalion. Very, very, very potent threat, guys, the SC-17, uh, and I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to uh, do uh, a, a little bit of side note there, uh, a separate video on how to take out the SC-17. Uh, without actually using harms, uh, of course, this method uh, I'm going to show you shows uh, involves using air to ground missiles, and air ground air to ground missiles is something we don't have uh, here in this uh, theater. So, uh, quite naturally, uh, we um, are uh, we're pretty 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 de defenseless. I, I won't I, I wouldn't want to say defenseless, uh, but guys, we're pretty vulnerable. Uh, to the SC-17 threat and to any SAM threat, uh, probably, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, even even the SA-3s, even the SA-2s, uh, without uh, any air-to-ground missiles, and, and I'm not talking about harms, I'm talking about Mavericks uh, and uh, missiles uh, uh, of that kind, uh, so we're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty vulnerable. Of course, we can do our pop-up attacks, but uh, pop-up attacks, uh, actually, uh, you have to have a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty solid recon on the area. Uh, uh, to make sure it's not uh, when the SAMs are protected by any uh, by any short-range SAMs, which is almost always the case, uh, <laughs> guys. Trust me. Uh, if you have a big SAM, a long-range SAM, it is always, I think, most of the time, uh, it's a, a, a protected by short-range SAM, uh, just uh, that uh, are in the perimeter uh, around it. Uh, so any pop-up attacks. That would be extremely, extremely dangerous, and I don't like to do those uh, too much, guys. Uh, I really, and while while I'm talking over here, I can actually uh, frag some of uh, flights so the guys uh, can uh, continue uh, flying. Actually, I uh, can show you guys what I'm talking about. Just want to make sure uh, uh, those um, uh, threats uh, over uh, here uh, are not uh, anything too special. We have a sky guard. Uh, in a GDF 005, uh, okay, Skyguard. I think it's a radar. Uh, I'm gonna have to check this uh, one uh, out. Uh, we uh, we had a bunch of SA10, uh, uh, SA10 uh, threats on RWR the, the last time I flew, uh, but uh, I don't know what that's about. Uh, hopefully, don't have any added threat uh, there. Uh, so, guys, I'm just uh, shifting uh, things around uh, right here. I'm gonna. Just uh, put some quick uh, reference points, and we can actually push those guys. I'm very, very pleased, guys, with that uh, to uh, the west, because uh, as I said, very, uh, very uh, resilient and very potent uh, enemy. Now we're going to be overlapping here uh, coverages. Uh, we're going to uh, be working uh, in uh, close cooperation with those uh, Hornets. 
um, uh, I think uh, let me just uh, try to up rack uh, Hornet fight see if those guys have landed and are available uh, actually they are not available uh, they are yet uh, to uh, land uh, so saving progress uh, and uh, moving uh, moving uh, forward <coughs> I think uh, this cluster of objectives over here, those military bases, they're, they're going to be a huge, a huge advantage uh, to us. And of course, you, uh, you can guys see I'm moving, uh, moving those uh, troops uh, around. I want to put, I don't want to uh, fight on uh, two fronts here. Uh, over here to the north, uh, I'm going to call this the El Arish front, uh, and over here to the south, let me just put a name on it so I can. Uh, come on, come on, come on, what's that, what's that, uh, this is uh, Bir El Hassana, uh, this is the uh, Bir El Hassana uh, 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 front over here, because uh, as you can see we have two distinct enemy formations, uh, uh, the El Hassana uh, troops and the El Arish troops um, uh, over uh, there, I think I have pretty much in control uh, those um, uh, those guys uh, over here uh, uh, and they're getting reinforcements you can see over here uh, troops are moving uh, of course uh, to uh, the east just uh, to reinforce but of course I don't want to spread my guys on two fronts I much rather make a breakthrough uh, on one of those um, uh, uh, one of those uh, 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 front uh, front lines, uh, and then uh, start maneuvering, uh, start doing a flanking maneuver. So if I make breakthrough in one front, uh, and it's going to be pretty pretty certain, it's going to be pretty concrete breakthrough, uh, so that I uh, don't get uh, counter flanked. Of course, I don't want to el eliminate this option whatsoever. Uh, if I make a breakthrough in one front. Uh, and then I'm going to start engulfing and I'm going to start flanking maneuver. I'm going to start swooping around the other guys uh, and eradicating uh, the other uh, front line uh, there. Uh, okay, uh, Hornets are available. Uh, some uh, uh, fragging a bunch of, a bunch of uh, Hornet. Uh, a bunch of hordes over here at the coastline. Guys, what I think I'm going to do, I'm actually going to knock some uh, bridges uh, out. Uh, what I don't like uh, is uh, that those bridges over here are my main passage uh, to war as my Ilya. Uh, I could I could actually uh, cross over here to the south, uh, but uh, this portion over here uh, is so suspiciously uh, low, uh, uh, low defended uh, that it just, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's mind-boggling. Uh, the enemy is uh, uh, it's not defending this portion, uh, just because I think they think that they have this high ground here, they have these mountains over here, uh, and they t think this is too uh, hard of a passage uh, for any Israeli uh, armored units uh, or army units to actually, uh, well, maybe uh, maybe accept the infantry uh, uh, to to actually traverse uh, this terrain. So they're not paying attention to this area whatsoever. Uh, I can see this. Uh, and of course, they're shifting almost all of their attention to defending this northern passages over here, and and it's pretty evident why that is because you have over here this flat terrain, so it's pretty easy to move rapidly, pretty easy to move fast. So uh, this is uh, this is my uh, consideration. So we tasked uh, over here. We tasked some hornets with uh, airstrikes here. Uh, and guys, really, I mean, uh, the only reason I'm not flying those flights because uh, this is going to be uh, prolonging unnecessarily uh, the uh, campaign. And I think I have uh, I have trust in uh, those uh, AI uh, flights. Now I'm going to say uh, that I'm not too uh, I'm not too um, uh, uh, satisfied with uh, with the performance of my AI wingman, uh, and uh, um, of of course, uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, the fact, uh, uh, well at least for me, uh, over here uh, that. Uh, the uh, my AI wingman uh, is not engaging any targets whatsoever, uh, so this uh, uh, this could definitely uh, this could definitely be checked. I think probably it's some a core uh, BMS uh, thing, uh, but guys, I mean really, uh, your wingman should be way way more uh, efficient there. Uh, uh, you know, than uh, just uh, flying around. You know, providing air cover is good. 
uh, but I've had num a number of times that the wingman uh, wouldn't even provide air cover uh, so very very passive uh, very passive uh, wing man I would definitely uh, like to uh, this uh, to uh, get uh, changed uh, well, I would definitely uh, like him uh, to uh, drop some uh, more bombs uh, and uh, uh, let me tell you those guys actually uh, correct their behavior uh, if they uh, start dropping more bombs uh, we would uh, I'll be able to end those campaigns much much quicker um, uh, so guys uh, really uh, this is something that has to be uh, changed uh, it, and I know it's not easy it's uh, probably uh, involves uh, some coding and some recoding uh, but uh, really uh, especially for um, uh, especially for those intensive uh, campaigns where you have intensive ground actions uh, and uh, uh, you know the campaign needs your input uh, yeah, you know, I could I could use at least for me I could use a, a much more potent uh, a wingman. Uh, now, <laughs> of course, uh, as you can see, guys, we, we, uh, here we have the occasional MiG-20 was. I think uh, most of the MiG uh, F-16 bases are out of uh, commission, uh, or probably the, the supply server in low, because we had a bunch of strategic strikes over here in the Esmalia region uh, by uh, by Hornets, uh, and uh, we actually flew a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, uh, Falcons over in this area as well. Now over here to the west. Uh, and I really have to give uh, a lot of credit to uh, to the Eagles, uh, F-15 uh, Indians. Uh, those are very, very, uh, uh, very. Uh, those were very uh, big assistance to us. Uh, okay, I don't want you to do this, engineer. Uh, I'd much rather you uh, go back over here. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's uh, about to run in uh, to an armored uh, battalion over here. I don't want him to do this. Uh, so, guys, really. Uh, uh, and just uh, managing some uh, guys, uh, just managing some uh, guys around. I think this is uh, good. We can actually swoop uh, down uh, here uh, to this uh, air uh, air uh, this uh, air base. Uh, we can uh, do this, and of course, guys, you can see I'm uh, pointing my units to the same uh, direction. This is gonna overload. Uh, this is gonna overload uh, a single point. Uh, this is what I wanted to do. I deliberately do this. Uh, I'm trusting. Uh, the the ability of uh, uh, the blues uh, to actually deconflict with each other uh, when on the ground, as you can see, I'm shifting this uh, front line constantly, uh, and this is putting a lot of pressure on the Egyptians. Really, uh, I think uh, their uh, main idea uh, was to, uh, to actually threaten uh, uh, Israel's borders, uh, but at this point, guys, really, uh, the only uh, uh, the only side that's violating somebody's borders uh, are the Israelis. Uh, I mean, as you can see, we turned uh, turntable so drastically over here uh, that uh, it's uh, it's just it's just complete madness. I mean, they uh, they probably had the idea of, of doing something, uh, but uh, I so far. Uh, they uh, they are uh, failing to deliver. Uh, okay, so we're holding this our ish area. I think we have our right flank pretty secure uh, over here, courtesy of uh, this uh, CVN. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm going to actually shift uh, the most pre pressure where, where we can, uh, uh, the direction where we can receive the most pressure from. I think is uh, over here, uh, directly from from the front, from the west. Uh, so I'm going to try to overload uh, this area as well. I'm going to advance uh, to this intersection, uh, which is actually uh, the modern uh, checkpoint or village. Uh, um, so the, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty pretty much it. And of course, guys, we have a clean board, uh, which means I can uh, frack some more uh, flights. Uh, hopefully, we uh, don't have too uh, many. Uh, airframe losses uh, at this point, as you can see, one's already good. I'm gonna reference those guys nice and easy. Uh, I think we're gonna have, uh, I think we're gonna have more targets, but I want to uh, get uh, these uh, guys uh, flying uh, there. And there we go. And I'm gonna reference this intersection as well. Uh, of course, guys, very, very good uh, to uh, uh, those uh, intel points. Are very useful for a flight uh, planning. I'm going to check on how. Actually, as you can see, 
the National Guard are, are uh, actually springing to action uh, and I think um, they uh, have just been stung uh, by a bee or a wasp uh, and they ha see a very very clear possibility over here actually Israelis traversing the Suez Canal over here and uh, uh, treading on to mainland Egypt uh, this is a very very real possibility uh, as you can uh, guys see of course uh, seeing your uh, air uh, your airspace uh, made all that uh, difference uh, actually to uh, to provide us clear corridors here of flights uh, so we can actually uh, fly around more uh, freely of course uh, the Egyptians are very very resourceful in this campaign and they're able to repair uh, their SAM uh, systems are pretty pretty fast I'm very impressed with that and they're, they're able to redeploy uh, their uh, uh, their air defense uh, very uh, very good guys and I'm expecting them to actually and that's exactly what they did see uh, I'm expecting them uh, to repair those uh, F-16 air bases uh, so <clears throat> uh, so they can uh, put those jets back uh, in action because really the main, uh, the main, uh, uh, the most amount of damage uh, the uh, Egyptians receive uh, is from our air force, and I think they know that, and they want to, uh, they want to uh, definitely uh, eradicate that. Uh, now, as uh, you can actually uh, check real quick to uh, to see what air base. Uh, is uh, in action uh, as you can see over here they they have two two falcons uh, really and uh, we were shooting falcons left and right I mean uh, Al Mansura is at 50 percent uh, pretty uh, well pretty much intact uh, we have Ben Swef is closed down Cairo I can actually reference where Cairo is yeah Cairo is probably over here uh, no this is Giza uh, this is Daki. I think those are very important objectives, guys. Uh, Cairo, we have Cairo West is shut down. Fayit is damaged. Uh, Hurghada, uh, Jinkalis, uh, new uh, our boat uh, shut down. Com Awashim uh, is at 60%. Uh, we pretty much cost a uh, hefty, hefty dent uh, into those Falcon, uh, Falcon forces. Uh, there, we can actually roll things. Uh, forward <coughs> uh, moving uh, troops around I actually see a good good possibility over here uh, to uh, move forward and of course guys you should use those uh, you should use those possibilities there uh, very very important uh, yes and I was right there there you go uh, the uh, National Guard I like to call National Guard I know what they actually are uh, guys but National Guard are actually uh, moving uh, forward uh, just to reinforce own troops. You can see they are pouring uh, one, two. I think I could count two. Yes, there they are. They're traversing over here. Uh, um, uh, they're pouring. Uh, I, I I would say division, probably two armored divisions uh, and uh, several more uh, more rifle uh, or mechanized infantry battalions. So those guys mean uh, business definitely. Uh, that's uh, definitely mm, uh, something that has to be uh, taken uh, care of, guys. And really, I'm going to record just a little bit of that uh, fast-paced uh, action over here. Uh, you can uh, stick around uh, if you want. I would appreciate it if you would. Uh, guys, really, uh, I already mentioned how the... Uh, um, uh, how the... Uh, uh, you know, AI is very, very far from perfect, uh, and guys, it's really uh, a very convenient occasion to uh, to invite you guys uh, to fight those campaigns with me. Uh, we can actually uh, find as uh, uh, fly as a, as a pair, or if we get more guys together, we can start organizing some flight. Maybe f uh, four ships, maybe maybe even uh, more flights. Uh, you know, maybe entire full blown packages. Uh, and guys, really uh, trust me, uh, we're going to be much more, <laughs> much more efficient. It's very much more satisfying uh, to uh, f fly with a human wingman, uh, really. Uh, and uh, guys, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just inviting you uh, to uh, just uh, contact me. Uh, we're going to set something up. Uh, no, uh, no problem, really. Uh, it's much, much better. It's much more enjoy enjoyable uh, to fly this way.
I think I'm uh, faring pretty pretty decently over here uh, regarding. So I'm gonna uh, cycle another uh, flight of uh, Falcons uh, over here. Uh, and guys, I'm using uh, really the 253rd uh, to a 53rd, uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, Falcon Squadron. I think we have seven jets uh, at our disposal at any one point of time. Uh, uh, but really, I'm uh, c compensating. Uh, you know, the low jet count, uh, the low jet. Uh, uh, actually, it's not. I think we have. I'm putting four into the air. Uh, we have a bunch of seven. So I, I would say this is a 60, probably a little bit less than 60 uh, percent battle readiness on, on that squadron. Actually, they have. I think they have 100 percent battle readiness at this point. But uh, but by battle readiness, I, I mean uh, actually flights that are dropping bombs that are actually causing damage. Uh, so 60 percent of the squadron is at my disposal. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to compensate uh, with uh, taking control of this 94th uh, uh, Hornet uh, squadron, uh, as I did. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, pretty much it, and uh, probably uh, this is the point, guys, that I'm gonna uh, cut this uh, uh, video uh, just a little bit because uh, I don't want to bore you guys. I'm gonna just. Uh, chime in uh, at uh, some uh, point where uh, something uh, a key event probably uh, uh, takes place uh, in the campaign so yeah uh, guys uh, okay so stay tuned I'm gonna be doing exactly what I uh, was doing um, uh, in uh, those several uh, minutes uh, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys uh, later All right guys yet an another uh, update over here on the action as you can see we're doing pretty pretty decently guys now I found actually uh, a notch there uh, that I'm, I'm not um, uh, uh, I'm not I'm not using these uh, uh, plain uh, plain fields over here uh, as you can see probably uh, uh, as much as I anticipated uh, in the beginning of the campaign, but really the enemy wouldn't let me do that uh, just because um, um, uh, they were using them and they were uh, barricading uh, the, those roads over here. Um, uh, but uh, that's okay uh, because um, I actually, as I said, guys, I find a way over here actually. Uh, it's not so uh, high ground, it's actually not so hard to move across uh, uh, and um, I'm gonna make this swooping uh, run over here swoop the enemy I'm actually uh, kind of uh, contemplating on my uh, uh, chances over here I can e e either box those guys in while they're over here on the east side and pretty much take him out or uh, actually avoid um, uh, avoid uh, uh, getting uh, flanked, outflanked uh, on my left flank over here. I, those guys uh, decide they are going to use those southern passes over here. They can pretty much outflank me. Uh, what they're going to outflank me with uh, is a mystery because I don't see any combat uh, ready, ready uh, military uh, here, of course. But if, uh, uh, you know, I could be mistaken, and probably are. Uh, there are some reserve units probably over here to the south that I don't know about. Um, however, this is a very, very difficult terrain to move across. As you can see, uh, there are not a lot of air bases. The majority of the air bases are over here on the plain grounds, over here in the flat fields to uh, the north. Uh, so, uh, I think I'm going to tread on to this mainland. I, mean, I think I'm going to traverse over here. The south, very, very poorly defended region, uh, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to actually uh, enter this area. Uh, I'm going to try to um, control. I'm going to enter this uh, area. I'm going to shift the whole uh, the whole thing south. Uh, so I'm actually uh, skipping this uh, northern front altogether. I'm uh, letting uh, Falcons and Hornets take care of those guys with airstrikes over here to the north. And this. Uh, what is it called? Uh, this is the Port Said region. 
I'm going to airstrike uh, the heck out of those guys there. Uh, and I'm going to traverse over here to the south. Uh, and from the south, um, I'm going to try to uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to actually assault over here uh, as Melia. Now, uh, really, guys, uh, uh, we have some high ground here, which is a good uh, probably opportunity to set some artillery up uh, uh, to set some observation position, observation positions up. And uh, I want this high ground, guys. I want this high ground. We have a bunch of uh, uh, military bases over here, which we should probably pay a visit to. Uh, but uh, let's uh, keep this going. Uh, I want to make sure I actually uh, save this. Uh, there we go. And we keep this uh, clock uh, rolling, guys. Now I'm uh, giving you some periodic updates there, uh, just because we are on the brink of something very, very good there. Um, there we go. Uh, just shifting those uh, waypoints. I kind of uh, gave those guys instructions there uh, to move slightly to the north. We we had some stranded stranded units over there. Uh, we we either uh, captured those elements or we uh, destroyed them. I think we destroyed them because uh, we don't see any. Uh, actually, there we go. We can. Whoa. Uh, we have <laughs> we have some development over here. Uh, I don't think uh, actually capturing uh, capturing uh, stuff is modeled uh, over here uh, in the BMS. Uh, I think it's just plain destruction. Um, <clears throat> yeah, those uh, broke of us actually jump to AI control. Uh, I want you to do this, guys. Uh, and of course, we have we have we're gonna have a clean board uh, any second now. Uh, come on, come on, come on! There, there we go. Clean board. We can start fragging us some more uh, flights. I know this uh, region definitely holds uh, enemy, and they decided to, to uh, defend this uh, southern portion. Uh, they decided to defend this uh, southern uh, portion, after all. Uh, so we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna stay flexible here. I'm gonna be ready uh, in case uh, they come up with uh, something pretty, pretty fancy there. Um, <coughs> Uh, I'm gonna just uh, add another uh, package. Doesn't hurt uh, over here in this uh, region. Uh, the Sufas doing a great, a great work, really. Uh, and I don't see any other targets, uh, so hopefully it doesn't hurt to uh, skip ahead just a little bit uh, there and to reveal those uh, guys. Now, uh, those guys get revealed by the tactical intel, and tactical intel is brought in by the actual jets performing sorties. If you have time, you mark position of the enemy. Uh, troops, uh, and then you relay that uh, back in the, to, to the joint uh, reconnaissance uh, element, uh, and they actually pa plan a plot positions around on the map, uh, and uh, very very useful, very useful. I think I'm gonna go back over here to the south. Uh, I don't think this is a threat, and uh, I think uh, if if they throw anything at us, it is going to be some form of a national guard or uh, stuff like that and I'm not expecting anything too offensive of course move my supply lines uh, forward as my uh, 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 main force uh, uh, moves uh, of course I'm you can see guys I'm heavily heavily overloading this area it's uh, it's pretty pretty evident to, to the enemy. Probably that's not not, not a, a smart move on my part, uh, but it's pretty evident to the enemy that I, I'm uh, um, uh, I'm trying to traverse over here those southern bridges. I'm trying to traverse the Suez Canal, uh, or if not, just, yeah, it's, I think this is the Suez Canal. Yeah, so uh, in the uh, southern Suez Canal. I'm trying to traverse. Probably not so smart of a move. Uh, on my part, because uh, I want to use deception for pretty much uh, or error, uh, wherever you can, guys. Just don't reveal what uh, we're trying to do. Uh, uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, put it right there. Uh, I think I'm going to put uh, one more of there. Uh, I'm going to get one more pack. Yes, uh, we, uh, we got to the point where we actually have more uh, package availability, more aircraft availability than we have targets and guys really this is a very very good point uh, to, to arrive at because uh, which means uh, you are uh, basically uh, destroying the enemy and now 
uh, uh, there we go. Uh, w one thing I uh, I want to caution you about, guys, is don't uh, stretch when moving your ground units. Don't stretch your uh, lines. Don't stretch your support line, supply lines, and don't stretch uh, your uh, uh, mutual support uh, capability because uh, you are gonna you're gonna have much uh, much bigger success uh, when not doing it. Of course, you're going to be more efficient um, than just rushing forward uh, and doing uh, pretty dummy, dumb things. Uh, of course, you have some uh, air activity over here. You want to be very, very uh, careful. You want to be able to uh, provide. Uh, we have a bunch of choppers over here. I want to be able to uh, provide uh, close air patrol or tar cap. Actually, not tar cap, but close uh, combat air patrols over this West Canal. Uh, now, if I'm able to do that, I'm going to be extremely happy because uh, uh, this means that um, pretty much I'm going to I'm going to have all those air bases covered. We have. I know. I know for sure that the 52 pluses. Uh, have the uh, uh, look down, shoot down capability, so we can uh, hang around there pretty high, and we can actually look down. Of course, GCI is going to give us some hints on uh, uh, on uh, things. Uh, of course, we over here we have some uh, AWACSs that are uh, 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 Navy uh, AWACSs, uh, uh, so we're going to have information on them as well, uh, and um, uh, we're going to. Uh, we're going uh, we're gonna to be able to know when those jets actually take off uh, to threaten uh, our offensive ground offensive over here and we're going to be able to uh, actually shoot him uh, shoot him down uh, pretty much the moment they take off or pre 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 uh, pretty pretty soon after that and uh, this is very very uh, valuable I think this is a very valuable uh, option uh, to a uh, half uh, however, uh, at the time being, yes, I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, I'm going to try to maybe uh, task here and here uh, some uh, some hornets uh, just to uh, sweep this uh, area clean uh, and uh, to make sure everybody is on par. Uh, there we go, over here and over here. Uh, yeah, probably over here. Now just space them around by I think one minute is good. We don't uh, yeah and the other guys and the other guys are yet to land, uh, and, and there they are actually there uh, over here. So uh, they're yet to uh, be available. Now I'm gonna do exactly what I guys told you. I'm gonna uh, actually put one uh, uh, cap uh, station way way over here, and this guy is really really pushing it. Uh, some say I might be getting uh, pretty cocky over here just to set up those cap stations over enemy territory. Uh, defensive counter is one and one guys, really, and not a Hornet, but actually a uh, Falcon. Uh, some guys uh, might say uh, I'm getting a pretty pretty cocky here. <clears throat> Maybe I am, uh, but uh, you have to remember, guys, that you, you pretty much have to do uh, whatever you think is best uh, for uh, for your guys on the ground. I'm gonna give them a two wing tanks there. Uh, I'm gonna spread uh, these out between those uh, two uh, cities. <clears throat> I'm gonna give them this uh, cap station. It's 117 miles, I think. I'm gonna straighten this up just for fuel conservation. Um, uh, and this is gonna give me the ability to control this uh, piece of. Uh, airspace. Uh, what is this? What is this? Come on. Yeah, it's more like it. Uh, to control this uh, piece of airspace, guys, this is very, very important. Uh, we have a bunch of squadrons there. We can actually uh, shift uh, the uh, uh, the responsibility of, of one or maybe two squadrons to pull in uh, cap uh, duties over here, over this West Canal entirely, and maybe the other squadron actually to focus on close air support uh, for our uh, advances. We can certainly do that. Uh, this is an option, uh, but uh, uh, I would like to uh, keep it pretty, pretty simple and just control one and uh, probably two squadrons max. Uh, if I control more than uh, two squadrons, I'm gonna get uh, pretty, pretty damn confused. Uh, not, not confused, but I'm gonna, yeah, get tangled up with those, all those uh, fragging, you know, all those numbers. Of course, I can write down numbers and squadrons and stuff and just uh, organize things, but uh, I like to uh, control. Uh, small amount of <coughs> squadrons really guys 
and one thing that's uh, very very uh, convenient uh, of course and a uh, thing that you should always use uh, is this a uh, priorities box over here uh, this priorities box is very important uh, because it uh, shifts uh, the entire air force uh, or the uh, at least your squadron that specializes in uh, something probably air to ground or air to air you have those squadrons of course you have squadrons on general uh, specialty they do a little, little bit of uh, everything uh, and of course you move those uh, slides uh, around there guys uh, and you can actually I uh, can actually go ahead and task uh, some of the uh, uh, ground strikes and some general squadrons uh, to do some more airfield strikes, uh, to approach, do some more air defense strikes, do some more radar strikes. I definitely want to do that because I want to be able to provide a quality uh, air uh, air cover on guys on those guys on the ground. Remember, those guys are very very uh, uh, far from uh, from uh, from uh, the border, from our border. Uh, so supply is uh, pretty thin uh, here. We're doing the best we can, of course. Uh, uh, but really, uh, this uh, has to uh, be uh, taken uh, care of. Now, Triple C, I think pretty much all the uh, high uh, high importance all the generals, Egyptian generals, have uh, been evacuated or pretty close to being evacuated. Uh, once we cross this West Canal, I can guarantee you guys that those guys are gonna get evacuated from uh, from uh, their bunkers or to some some other location. Uh, so I'm not even gonna try to do the Triple C. I don't I don't care about uh, destroying. Uh, those uh, Esmelia and uh, uh, bunkers, uh, but to be pretty, to be pretty fair. Now, war production uh, is definitely something I want to target, uh, especially those uh, strategic, uh, strategic missions and those uh, e, uh, those eagles that are actually able to drop uh, bombs from uh, long ranges. Uh, I definitely want to target those uh, factories there and the power stations. Very, very important, guys. Power stations you have from all over the place. Target them first, shut the power down, and uh, uh, you are pretty much good to go uh, for uh, for several hours until that power gets uh, restored. Now, armored units, infantry units, artillery units, and support units, I won't destroy it, of course, because this is essentially what calls air support is. Now offensive counter air. I'm gonna put it uh, somewhere over uh, here because not my squadron is good to go because I'm controlling manually. I just want to make sure uh, that uh, uh, the other guys uh, are leaning towards a certain uh, type of activity. Uh, Sam suppression. I'm gonna leave it here. And air interdiction, close air support are to the max in strategic uh, strikes. Uh, I'm gonna leave it over here because I don't care about those too much. Uh, as, you, as I said, guys, pretty much uh, the local economy here of the Egyptians is uh, uh, not not so uh, not so uh, uh, not so great. Uh, so anti-shipping uh, it's completely zero uh, because don't have any ships to worry about. Uh, defensive counter, of course, goes to the max because I want to defend this area over uh, here. Of course, set your packs up uh, the way you, you like them and uh, click OK. You should be good now. Of course, uh, saving these changes we just made. And there we go. Uh, actually, we are traversing this southern uh, southern region here, which is pretty, uh, which is a pretty pretty dramatical, a pretty dramatic point uh, in the uh, campaign. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're drawing. And there we go. Uh, and falcons are already flying. Uh, uh, Egyptian falcons are already in the air. Uh, I want to be uh, careful. I want to be careful not to get. And of course, one armored uh, guard. One armored. Uh, I'm gonna call him uh, National Guard. I think uh, National Guard uh, battalion just emerged there, and there they are. Uh, of course, we have this uh, kind of uh, I don't know what it is a glitch or whatever, where you don't actually have your waypoint set. Uh, we have a bunch of choppers, so I'm kind of wondering uh, if those are actually Apache choppers, H64s so that can actually. Uh, hit uh, uh, hit the ground targets, and of course we don't have this kind of uh, detailed uh, uh, information as we are progressing uh, over here from uh, this map. Probably we have to go uh, check different squadrons what uh, what they have. Uh, I think they have Apaches, definitely. I think it's, I think the Egyptians have Apaches, and as you can see, uh, we, we can actually provide a little bit more uh, cover. Uh, there to uh, friendlies. I think I'm gonna hit this uh, <coughs> uh, this uh, area. 
uh, guys really this is uh, again this is uh, one of the uh, ways you can play uh, campaigns uh, I think uh, I think that you definitely uh, definitely uh, have to um, uh, play uh, several missions uh, just to uh, just to soften up uh, uh, the enemy uh, and you have to be successful in those missions uh, I would uh, advise you against relying on uh, the AI uh, to complete your campaign uh, uh, really guys uh, you have to fly uh, you know I flew I uh, for example I flew uh, a lot of missions here on uh, this uh, campaign uh, actually, um, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, uh, there were there were quite a bit of missions I flew uh, just to make sure I uh, kicked things off uh, the right way. Uh, and uh, you really have to do that uh, in order to just show the correct way uh, to the AI uh, and to lean towards uh, some uh, some uh, some part uh, there actually. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you, you guys really you have to you have to fly missions. Don't don't uh, BMS is not a real time strategy. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, do not do not uh, look at it as a real time strategy. Uh, it is a it is a flight simulator. Uh, and what I'm doing right now, just moving round trips around, uh, this is fine. Uh, but you have to lay the groundwork. This is what I'm trying to say. You have to lay the groundwork uh, in order to, in order for your ground campaign to be a successful. And you guys uh, are pretty much setting yourself up for a success. Now, uh, I have a bunch of, uh, <clears throat> I have a bunch of over here. Some, uh, I'm gonna actually hit those uh, guard uh, with uh, this thing. As you can see, guys, this is done. This is flight for uh, flight fragging and uh, uh, flight uh, planning and uh, mission planning. And this is done by uh, real world uh, squad. Actually, there are squadron elements in each squadron. Uh, so not squadron, not dedicated squadron elements, but actually squadron uh, uh, members. Real world squad, real world squadrons. They're actually uh, their job is to frag flights and to sort targets, analyze targets, analyze the situation, communicate with the main intel asset, uh, and uh, just. Uh, Work on massive, massive amounts of information, uh, and uh, use that information to flag, frack flights. And this thing is done by uh, real world uh, guys as well. I uh, have you have to pick your targets from your targets list. Uh, you have to prioritize your targets. You have to prioritize your actions. Uh, very, very important. Uh, and I would imagine those guys really are, are actually are taking care of one squadron. I, I hear uh, over here I'm operating two squadrons. Uh, so guys, it's really he's an he's a nightmare. And most of it actually the supply and stuff, of course, uh, is handled by by the AI, of course, uh, here as is as it is in the real life. Uh, you know, the supply and munition and the fuel and everything is. Uh, Handled by those uh, <coughs> supply and weapon officers, uh, uh, which is a pretty, a pretty, uh, pretty nice thing. Over here, we have some uh, automated uh, stuff. I would imagine actually real guys would have this, uh, uh, this software there. Uh, of course, uh, some uh, software uh, that uh, uh, allow them to easily frack uh, flights and just plot on the map and have a heavy use of computers is what they also uh, do. Uh, uh, so very very nice to see that in Falcon as well. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, taking uh, taking a ground over here. My main goal is actually to assault over here uh, this uh, portion uh, of Esmeralia. I don't see any bridges uh, to go uh, further west, probably over here. Uh, but uh, it is fine. I, I will be satisfied in taking Esmeralia over here, guys. This is my objective, and I'm uh, again I'm gonna call it a campaign if I take Esmeralia. Uh, so guys, I don't know what the actual uh, uh, victory conditions are because uh, I wasn't able uh, to find any documentation really uh, to confirm. Uh, so uh, you know, me capturing this melee, I'm going to call this a good campaign. Uh, I'm going to move those troops around over the river 
and pretty much guys uh, as, as you probably noticed we captured those bridges this is what a captured bridge looks like uh, I don't think actually I'll uh, just let me pause this thing for a second uh, let me do a quick recon there uh, actually not recon but let me put some installations in some infrastructure installations on so I can see how uh, we have uh, probably we, I think we have two bridges probably this is a uh, some kind of uh, this is some uh, this is a bridge uh, undoubtedly and these are definitely the bridges we're moving over uh, yeah we don't have a bridge here but we're using these uh, uh, these uh, bridge uh, structures over uh, here uh, in order to move I like that I like that a lot uh, and as you can see for some reason uh, they're defending these northern passages over here uh, this is the <laughs> the National Guard I keep calling them the National Guard but actually uh, to, tell, to tell you to you guys I think they're regular regulars I'm gonna check those if, the, if they po point uh, out as elite uh, they kinda hit uh, there they are uh, if uh, they are in uh, elite I think those are no those are regulars yeah those are regular tanks uh, the tank troops uh, and pretty pretty beat up uh, at this point so I'm gonna frack uh, some hordes over here uh, guys again uh, don't rely 100% uh, on uh, don't rely 100% on uh, just uh, uh, whoa, there we go. We have some development over here uh, on just uh, the AI flying your uh, flights. The reason I'm doing this right now is because I fly, flew a lot of missions and laid out some on groundwork uh, for my AI to work with. Uh, and this is the only reason I'm doing this. Uh, uh, don't this, uh, I, I mean, it could work for you, definitely. Uh, it could work for you, but I wouldn't advise you to do that all the time. Uh, we're capturing a bunch of cities. I mean, it's pretty much the Egyptians are uh, in in shock right now because they don't know what actually <laughs> they don't know actually what to do because uh, you're seeing all those uh, those Israeli tanks actually uh, onto in the Egyptian mainland. Uh, and guys, really, those are Merkavas. Oh, whoa, there we go. Uh, we have a bunch of a bunch of uh, squadrons actually uh, a bunch of battalions there just uh, popped up uh, there we go we have one over uh, here I'm gonna add a package I'm gonna add hefty packages there I don't care if I, even if I have to care carry a wing tanks uh, I wanna uh, push those guys uh, through because I know they could be pretty pretty effective with uh, uh, with LGBs uh, I wouldn't imagine uh, in uh, this urban environment those guys to be uh, set up in a line formation. I wouldn't think so. So uh, I'm uh, putting uh, LGBs on those uh, two guys. Uh, and those are actually, uh, let me see what they are. Uh, yeah, those are Falcons. Uh, those are Falcons uh, with LGBs. Let me just make sure those are LGBs. Uh, actually, no, they're CPUs, but I think that's fine. I, I don't think uh, AI are too competent. Uh, you know, with uh, LGBs, and uh, in fact, we're running, we're running so low on GB, uh, LGBs that uh, it's a nightmare. Uh, let me put just uh, those two tags on on them as well. All right, so good, good. We're doing pretty, pretty uh, good. Uh, I'm gonna assist those guys with a bunch of hornets there. I want to make sure hordes are also a striking targets in this area as well, because really, guys, this is the main uh, main uh, offensive. I have three tanks here, so I'm not concerned about those guys. Uh, this is the last line of defense uh, for the uh, Egyptians. It really uh, says a lot, guys. It really says a lot. Uh, I'm gonna put those uh, nice and compact there. Uh, those uh, points uh, make a bunch of saves there. I don't want to traverse this Suez Canal as fast as I can. Really, uh, I want to get there as fast as I can. I want to overload this area uh, over here uh, in order to uh, be successful. I'm keeping some guys here just to avoid getting outflanked. Uh, but let me uh, let me tell you guys, if I uh, if I just um, uh, traverse two thirds of my troops uh, towards the West Bank, on the West Bank, uh, I think. There's, there is no, uh, there, there is no, pretty much, there's no worries. There should be no worries. 
um, uh, at least for, uh, from a tactical nature. I uh, got a bunch of guys there. I uh, got two, two uh, motor rifle. Uh, these guys, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, put them over here. This is good. And actually, move everybody forward. Move these guys uh, forward over here. And move these guys forward over here. Come on. Oh, guys. Uh, and really advance. Uh, pretty much, this is uh, this is the uh, the measurement of success over in this campaign. So uh, now, the, the, uh, as much a ground as you make, the better off you are. Uh, we're not trying actually to be barbaric over here. I was just trying to advance. We're just trying to take these key cities over here and these control nodes. Uh, and uh, we uh, would have accomplished our goal. Uh, of course, we have uh, some uh, free flights that we can task. Uh, there we are. Uh, I don't think actually we uh, that we have any uh, threat uh, whatsoever. Uh, of course, this could bite me in the butt later on. Uh, so I can uh, structure uh, this guys over here and frag him like this. Uh, really, guys. This is just a feast of. Uh, <laughs> this is just a feast of uh, military planning. Uh, now, what I like, how, how, the way I like to frag flights over here for the AI, especially, is uh, I like to put them on minimum interval. Uh, take off. This is just, just this is just because if they're going against two targets that are, uh, yeah, uh, you know, moving, uh, they're going to be able to uh, have um, uh, minimum minimum shift. On the actual position of uh, positions of those targets, uh, and they're going to be able to uh, find them easier. Uh, so this is just a quick note. Uh, there we go. Uh, go okay. Um, this guy over here. I think I'm going to put it like this, and we are pretty much screaming, screaming on uh, at package. And uh, I think that we have another. A uh, pretty pretty crafty uh, ground commander over here. He decided. I think I didn't order those guys to, but uh, I gave him this uh, pointer, just this generator to defend. Uh, and what they did, they actually tried to uh, push this uh, northern front line further, uh, further west. Which I would definitely congratulate those guys on doing so, uh, because uh, we might actually be able to capture one of those uh, bridges over here to the north and actually pour pour in from two directions. If we ever to pour in from two directions, I mean those defenders over here of Esmelia are pretty pretty uh, bang, uh, banged up. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to defend uh, from uh, from those angles uh, there. Oh, we have a bunch of troops over here. Of course, we want to move the engineers uh, a tad bit forward. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, armor battalions. So now, how I engage those armor battalions so is very important, guys, not to get uh, caught uh, in between them, because uh, you're going to get uh, caught in the crossfire. I uh, definitely don't want to do this, uh, of course. So I want to go here, and I want to go uh, over here. We're going to see how this thing resolves. Uh, really, but uh, this is what I'm going to do, and this guy's really is the final push over here, uh, which I definitely like. I'm, I'm using this airbase over here as a reference point. I'm uh, moving, uh, moving a bunch of, <coughs> bunch of um, uh, more rifles forward as well. I know those guys uh, have pretty hefty amount of uh, firepower on them, uh, so I'm going to be able to. Uh, make some uh, splashes there as well and of course moving those guys forward uh, we have a clean board uh, I think any minute now we should actually have it uh, this is what uh, I do guys just this is what I do now uh, uh, constantly uh, uh, just uh, constantly a uh, task Air Force flights uh, around uh, so there we go we're moving this uh, guys ever so <laughs> ever so closely over there to Ismailia I can actually move, uh, move some armor over here as well I'm gonna see how this thing turns out over here to uh, the north to make sure I safe just in case I screw up here uh, and those guys are just okay there we go 
Uh, come on, come on. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise to go there, buddy. Go over there. Uh, I'll make sure everything's my command. Yeah. Uh, this guy's moving over there. I uh, wouldn't advise this guy to make this turn to the back. It's very important, guys, to start going back. Uh, it uh, is uh, bad at this point. There we go. Want to capture, want to reference all those uh, depots. Want to capture some ground there. These are some AI guys. And switch. I definitely want to switch. There we go. There we go. Now this curve line means you're in manual control. Uh, and uh, M113. So guys, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I like to mainly control my troops. Uh, but, but probably, um, I don't know, uh, probably uh, you could uh, leave them uh, at... Uh, probably you could leave him uh, uh, at uh, some form of AI control, just uh, switch your waypoints around. I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I think I've had successes with that. But that was the previous version of Falcon, that was the 4.32. I'm not sure if this uh, version supports it. I think you have to go full manual here uh, in order to uh, command your troops around. Uh, okay, I'm moving these guys west as well. I'm even moving a bunch of infantry uh, over here, but really you don't need too much uh, infantry because uh, those are soft skins that want to uh, jeopardize them. Uh, I like to move infantry in APCs. Uh, and Israeli APCs are very, very tough. They're notoriously tough. Uh, so. Uh, so uh, uh, so the infantry is nice and protected in there. Uh, of course, uh, the 253 gets uh, tasked over here. I'm going to reference this point over here. And there, there we go. Uh, we don't have any troops actually to uh, reference at this point. I don't want to attack those guys because uh, they're just so low. Uh, they're low on everything. They're low on um, morale. They're low on. <laughs> actually, they're broken. Their morale is broken. So I. I think they would actually uh, surrender uh, if we move in. I want to use this opportunity uh, to actually move in over here uh, and start uh, and start uh, catching those guys uh, in the pincers. Now, uh, something that I should probably mention, guys, is that as you can see, uh, actually I'm actually doing this uh, maneuver over here. Uh, for, uh, from the south uh, again, uh, yeah, there actually there is actually a bridge over here that, that they can pour uh, some western divisions from. Uh, but really, uh, I think that uh, should probably should not be a factor if we uh, bunch up over here in Esmilia and your artillery. So and your artillery uh, is probably the only thing I worry about, uh, really, uh, because. Uh, there we go. We're gonna overload this area nice and stiff uh, over here uh, because uh, if we bunch up now, the worst thing uh, uh, probably, uh, of course, uh, uh, is uh, artillery barrage and, and not actually barrage, but artillery can actually pour on us. So I definitely don't want to do that. I don't want to bunch up. I want to keep moving. Uh, this is my goal there as you can see moving troops around and these guys are just just about to traverse uh, of course the motor rifle can uh, sweep up behind those guys I definitely want to do that to wanna of course traverse over here no that's a little bit too much uh, now this is what motor rifles do guys don't don't put your motor rifles forward uh, but rather uh, uh, keep him behind your uh, main armor uh, and just try to uh, just try to uh, just try to protect those guys initially and then uh, uh, and then uh, uh, use uh, uh, use them to cover basically yeah to, to cover your uh, main arm uh, you might have a leaker here and there uh, some uh, probably some uh, tall some some RPG element that you haven't noticed. Uh, as you can see, we actually got a resupply, so I'm able to operate. Actually, yeah, this is probably because those guys are in ingress and they uh, they didn't uh, indicate uh, uh, there. But uh, oh no, uh, nevertheless, a good. Um, 
good. Now, guys, these uh, videos I think uh, are gonna end up being pretty pretty long, and uh, I, I mean um, I'm pretty much uh, whining about uh, moving ground troops around. And I mean, some of you might say, "Well, this is a flight simulator. Why don't you fly?" Well, uh, guys, I flew a lot, so I got pretty fed up there uh, with just uh, peeling off. Uh, the enemy and the my wingman not doing anything about it, uh, not dropping any bombs. Uh, but guys, really, I want to. This is just a quick breather uh, from flying, and I always like doing this because I always like uh, controlling uh, those uh, ground events there. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll pretty much box those guys in. Uh, I think uh, uh, those guys are pretty much in a firefight there. We're well, not a firefight, but actually shooting it. Uh, shooting it, uh, and there we go. We actually managed to uh, defeat uh, them. Uh, so I will continue my movement uh, over here and directly. Uh, uh, well, actually, the clock stopped, so looks like uh, that we uh, took some uh, important uh, objectives. I think this is this uh, town over uh, here. Uh, well, yeah, we took something. Well, uh, guys, you saw it. Uh, so uh, this campaign is complete. I'm very, very uh, happy with that. I'm gonna try to see what kind of political objective we actually took. Uh, it's over here on, on Israel, of course. Uh, political objectives, uh, no. Akura, yeah, I don't know what it is. El Arish, uh, this is what we took. El Arish, all the junctions around it. Uh, Ezus, Kinozar, uh, I think those are Israeli cities, guys. Excuse me if, I, if I'm wrong. Hadar, Hadera, Herzliya, Hulon, Jerusalem, yeah, those are always early cities. Uh, I don't know what we actually took to uh, make this campaign stop, uh, but uh, uh, but we, uh, yeah, I think it was this, uh, it was this point over here, and probably, yeah, I think it was this point over here. Guys, excuse me for not uh, for not for not, for not having actually written uh, instructions on what the actually uh, uh, victory conditions are. But yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, now, uh, uh, we managed to complete a huge, huge feat, guys, really, for three days. Uh, I think, uh, probably slightly, I think it was slightly more than uh, three days, which is, uh, which is what, guys, essentially 72 hours. Uh, we managed to push the whole, uh, the whole Israeli, uh, actually the whole Egyptian army uh, west into its uh, own lands. In, uh, uh, pretty much we're doing uh, the sweep uh, over here uh, it has merely all those uh, cluster of uh, high importance objectives so guys uh, this campaign uh, this campaign is complete we have the definitive advantage uh, uh, both uh, in the ground and in the air so I want to thank you guys uh, of course as always uh, for uh, watching uh, it has been a huge pleasure for me uh, making uh, all those uh, videos we have a whole bunch of other uh, actually, not a whole bunch. Actually, we have. I, I think we have one more theater uh, than I could uh, that I could uh, try. Where we have this uh, Korea 2012. Uh, we also have. Uh, we we also have. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, uh, we have stock uh, KTO uh, with the uh, strong DPRK option. Uh, uh, this is probably uh, this is probably not going to be the next campaign. I do. I'm going to probably try the uh, Korea 2012 tier. I know it's been ported to uh, 4.33 Falcon. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I want to congratulate the guys over here, the developers, and uh, everybody involved in actually uh, Falcon BMS for striking this uh, deal or, the, uh, or this success in the negotiations uh, with the new owners of Falcon. Uh, uh, great job, guys! Uh, very happy with you. So I think uh, the uh, the uh, 4.33.1 uh, PMS is going to be available. It's just around the corner, uh, and uh, a bunch of bug fixes are expected there. Uh, we also have some amendments on uh, how the uh, how the uh, uh, 4.33.1 uh, is going to be installed on what requirements. Uh, there are in order for it uh, to uh, get installed. So uh, guys uh, again uh, Thank you very much for all your support and uh, your comments uh, And uh, thank you for watching these guys. Uh, see you in another one of those videos. Take care